Toby Price's truck has rolled at least five times. In the dust, it's impossible to count. People race to see whether Toby and his navigator, Kyle Fitzner, are okay. Amazingly, they're able to clamber out of the wreckage. Uh, yeah, mate. Are you feeling all right? Ah, perfectly fine. That's, that's the best thing about four wheels you're strapped in. Um, two wheels, I'd still be laying here, so uh, I'd be probably waiting on a helicopter at that speed. Well, what do you say? Lucky for me, I wasn't in the truck with him, but I was kitted up for Toby to take me on the next run. When did you know something wasn't right? When I was laying on my side. <laughs> Great, that, that's that quick. <laughs> Mmm, oh, headache. But yeah. I think everyone's just happy you're all right. I'm not worried about that. That's like I say, I don't mind bashing my body up. Yeah. But I just don't like wrecking equipment. Toby fears his dreams of winning the car category of the Fink Desert Race lie ruined in the dust. But the man who built the truck, American Rick Geyser, is far less pessimistic. Is it cactus now, or will you be able to put it back together? No, we're going to go back to a workshop here in uh, Alice Springs, and we're going to put it back together. It's not going to be the prettiest of the body parts on it, the panels, but uh, mechanically-wise, we'll get it back in where it's all ready to race again. So he'll be able to race in this yep. this weekend? Yep. Yes, sir. And with that, the wreck goes back to a workshop in Alice Springs, and the pit crew get cracking. Out here, the cars are as tough as the people. And incredibly, by the next morning, the trophy truck was ready to roll again. As good as new, Toby. Pretty well, close. Almost. Al almost. We've got a few little battle wounds on the car, but it's, um, look, uh, for what it was yesterday, uh, as you've seen, and now what it is now, the, the crew that I've got on board with this have done an amazing job. The important thing is, does your mum know about this? Um, unfortunately, mum does know about this. Uh -huh. they've, uh, they've surprised me and visited out here for the weekend and um, coming to watch all this. So it's, uh, yeah, well, uh, I'm sure mum won't be watching today, though. Will you be watching closely today? Probably not, no. I'll, 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 watch, I'll, watch, I'll watch the start like I normally do, but after that I just don't Don't want to know. No. <laughs> Still, you told me better give him a cuddle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think right. so. We're going. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yeah. will do. Yeah, good Have luck, fun. buddy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Really, yeah. As I said, stay smooth and no sideways. Yeah, no, that's slow. Sideways is slow. Sideways Then Toby roars into the desert on the first leg down to Fink with 18 cars and 226 punishing kilometres ahead of him. On four wheels, he is classed as a rookie, but he sure as hell doesn't drive like one. Toby is like a man possessed, forcing his way up through the field, passing one, then another. In this racing, if the slower vehicle doesn't move over, you're allowed to deliver a none too subtle nudge. When this leg is finished, Toby will have overtaken 14 rivals. But when he gets to Fink, he has to run to catch a plane back to Alice to do it all over again on the bike. This isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. I need you to win, but I don't want you to take any risks. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll give her a go. Cheers, mate. And then it's another hug from Mum and Dad before Toby heads back to the start line for the bike leg.
At this stage of endurance, his stamina clearly shows that a great rider is also a great athlete. The man and his machine are at one with the desert, and Toby Price is a rider without peer. He travels so quickly, the helicopters have trouble catching him. In a little under two hours, he literally flies into Fink, two and a half minutes clear of his nearest rival. The race is only half over, but for some, including young Rosie, it's already finished. Well, about 15 k's in, I knocked myself out and it was a big crash, but I got up and kept on going. But then I had another crash near the 100k mark and it just brought me down. I just couldn't do it anymore. How are you feeling now? I'm very sore, but I'm fine. But you'll be back. Yeah, I'd love to come back and finish it one day. And one day be the first girl to win. Maybe, maybe. The next day, on the return leg, Toby Price is roaring back along the Fink track towards Alice Springs in his trophy truck. He's blown a cylinder, but that doesn't stop him. He manages to finish in second place. But there is no time for celebration. Immediately, he's back on a plane for another trip down to Fink. Now to jump on his bike. For Toby, this isn't exhausting, it's exhilarating. It's, for me, it is exhilarating and it's, um, it's like an addiction. I just, all I want to do is, every time I get on that bike and throw my leg over, the, over that bike, it's go as fast as I can and, um, I don't know, I always just had that bit of a theory that the, the faster I go, the, the quicker the event's done. Like the desert legend he has become, there is no catching him now. Toby Price roars through the red dust of Central Australia and into the history books to become the Fink Desert Champion for a fifth time. How proud are you? Oh, just, I'm busting. I don't know how to explain it. How much do you love him? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, as we say in our family, like with Min, we just always say, love your face. So that says that every, everything. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Love his face. Yeah, we, yeah, love his face and yeah, and he's yeah. absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. What do I say? <laughs> You're terrific. <laughs> it's not too bad. I can't complain. It's been a good weekend.